All right. Well, it went five seconds and nobody said anything. So <laughs> I was like, I'm like did he was hit a, the button? Or yeah, not? I was adjusting my microphone and looking at the uh, at the readings and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, they well. gotta talk. Uh, we'll, we'll shout out first on the Fanduel thing. Neither yep. of us did worth a shit. No, I can't pick. I think the league is going to contact me because anybody on my roster is getting hurt in the first quarter. <laughs> That's just the way it goes. Oh, my God. But, uh, Dude, I haven't cracked the top 10. There's 15 fucking people in this league. I haven't cracked the top 10 in four weeks, three a, weeks. I, I finished 10th. My my brother beat me by two tenths of a point. Uh, but with, be. like, nowhere in the running. Yeah. Not even. No, like, we're getting beat by, like, I'm going to be like 60 points. Like, how the yeah. hell am I can, can I make this up? I mean, shout out to Woody's left hook. I don't know what your name is. Me it's either, not buddy. in there. Nope. I don't Good even job. know if you listen to this show or if you're just here to take our money. Um, <laughs> 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 He's here to take our money. Yeah. He doesn't care about the show. But good but, job. You beat Lane. Fuck you, Lane. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> could have added some of his points from last week. He could have and still probably wouldn't have beat him. <laughs> yeah, I just can't. I mean, Brown gets hurt with two tenths of a point he gets me. Like, yeah. that should have been a big game for him. Mm-hmm. As I said before the podcast, I rode with the Ridley thing, and he's yep. a straight up loser. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's going to be great since Julio's not there. Nah, no, not really. No. Maybe they're just not good, and maybe he's not. Yeah, maybe he was half really the good. time he doesn't get you any points. The other half the time he's hurt. <laughs> My good, ankle hurts again. Good fantasy player. Fantastic. I I just get pissed off because you put your lineup in, and like we say every week, like this is a damn good lineup. Yeah. I don't know who's going to beat this lineup, and it's like, oh, I got thirteenth out of fifteen. Well, I'm you know. And I think we've talked about this before because I, I don't know that I'm the most positive person, but I feel pretty positive. But like when I put it in the million dollar lineup, yeah. I assume I'm going to win. And it's the same way. If I, I don't really, I don't buy mega million tickets mm-hmm. or anything, but if I do buy it, I'm like shocked when I don't win, <laughs> which is a weird, I don't know why I'm like that, but that's just like, I can't believe oh my I, God, didn't, I fucking didn't win. win. How the hell did I, I not mean, win? I bought the ticket. Yeah. It's just. Fantasy football, man. I finally got a win in, you know, like a normal, not a, not the, the non FanDuel league. Finally got there. So. Yeah, in a bullshit league. Yeah. The eight man league. <laughs> it's not even a real weak, league. It's weak weekly, league. weak sauce. Been running it Does since. People, uh, I mean, I mean, I know you do. Like, you get a league with your buddies, but yeah. Do like people play in leagues a lot still? I think so. I, I really it, do. Like, to me, it feels like this, the FanDuel was the way like, to this go. This is the way to go. Um, <laughs> It's it's I I I find it way more fun because it's somebody different every week. Yeah, you know, and you know if you have an idiot who's in your league and doesn't really know how to draft, like you, you know, you always have that one guy that has like that's your bye week. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. So, but this one this one's fun. The FanDuel's fun. If anybody else wants to join us, you can DM us on Twitter. If you want to join the league? Join the league. Wide side. Sports wide side sports on Twitter. That wide side sports. Yep. Yep. And I'll get you hooked up in the league, but. It's fun. It's two bucks. Yeah. Who did, winning the pot. Who did I send a, a, who did I get liked? Matthew, my Barry, Matthew Barry. Matthew Barry liked one of our tweets. It was awesome. <laughs> it's cool as shit. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Matthew Barry. I, well, hope, I was, uh, I, I hope you listen. Cause, Cause shockingly it was like, you know, it was a funny response. Yeah. The celebrity picture, the, the last celebrity picture in your phone is your therapist. Fucking Ronnie Shockingly, Dangerfield. like I didn't look for that picture. Yeah. I had it <laughs> from like 20 minutes earlier because I seen that picture and I yeah. clipped it and I was going to cut that of kind of do like a because they're all looking in the same direction. It's Rodney Dangerfield, Sam Kennison and yeah. Charlie Sheen mm-hmm. all looking in the same direction. And what I was going to do was split that and make a meme out of it, like yeah. what we see and then what they see in a pile of cocaine. Nice. <laughs> That's what I was going to do. And then I seen this. I'm like, well, we'll just go we'll here. Go with this. <laughs> No, it was funny. Matthew Barry liked it. Yeah. 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 At least we got a nerd to like it. Yeah. Help us with our picks, dick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. We can't win our FanDuel league. Yeah. Can't win the league that we created. <laughs> yeah, exactly. God damn it. The commissioner never wins. None of these people are spending hours talking about sports every no, week. No. We are. We're putting in the time. We're too close to it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude. So... 
we were bitching before the we aired and being both Buckeye fans, it's like really Akron and Ohio State at a fucking night game. Like that's your noon kickoff game. Yeah. If there is one. Like you had Oregon, Ohio State at noon. Yeah. And you had Akron, Ohio State at seven thirty. Yeah. Yeah, that's a noon one because like, you know, if I get caught up at work or whatever and miss a first half, I don't care. care. Exactly. <laughs> And it was exactly. like, uh oh, they're down seven nothing. Yeah. Like, well, it was like thirty five to seven at the end of half. Yeah, I think I think it'll be okay. And then I loved all that too of like, do they have a quarterback controversy now? I, how do you know? How do you they, know? They played Akron. Yeah. I uh I would assume no. The guy quit at halftime. Yeah. That was uh or dirt actually during or the game. third quarter or yeah. whatever. You know, that's an interesting thing. Because one, if you look at the guy's a senior. Yeah. So, you know, obviously they let him stay on scholarship, finish out his degree, and this. Oh, and that. are they? Yeah, they did. I didn't read that. He's not on the team anymore, but they're letting he, they're honoring the scholarship so he can, you know, have his have his degree and stuff like that. But you you were a senior and you were a rotational guy. Why are you pissed? Yeah, like you're getting to play as a senior. <clears throat> well, I don't know what his deal is, and then he gets on Twitter and says, "Fuck Ohio State." Well, it's just like, hey. If you stay on the team, you're going to get like the framed, mm -hmm. you know, all your your gear and stuff that you get when you graduate. And I and I can guarantee, you know, whether you played, whether you're not playing, you know, when you put Ohio State football player on your resume for four years, probably going to get a job. You end up getting a job. Probably going to get the job. Well, that, that's another one. I, I, I think I'd said that to my brother after that, you know, they made mention of that yep. on the air was like. You're a rotational linebacker. Uh -huh. Like, so you're not a starter, and the linebackers aren't great yeah, at so Ohio you State. Yeah, probably have a chance maybe to play. And you're behind on the rotational, behind a guy that was a running back last year. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not good enough. Yeah. You went to a school that you shouldn't have went to. Uh-huh. That, that's one of those. I, I listened to that uh, Coach JB on, on McAfee last week. He yeah. was talking about recruiting. And he says, the problem with the transfer per portal is is that these people are committing to the wrong schools. Yeah. He said, and 98% of them, the kid's not the one making the decision. Yeah. It's the parents. Uh -huh. Like, hey, you got an offer from Ohio State or Alabama or something. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. going there. Uh -huh. like, well, they have like 70 or 80 or 90 scholarships they give out. That, you're not going to play. Yeah, if exactly. you're, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and, you know, this year, especially with the whole people getting their extra year of eligibility with right. COVID-wise, I mean, People lost out on scholarships this year, so you should have had should have had less issues with it because you probably would have just went somewhere and played. Yeah, you know what I mean. I mean, especially some of these big schools who kept who kept that eligibility. I mean, I know not everybody did. Yeah. If you were good enough, you just you you left, you know. But uh, yeah, it's weird in that aspect of. It. But he makes a good point. I mean, it, it's hard <sighs> as a player, and obviously, I'm nowhere near anywhere near Don't a, a sell division one, short. division one scholarship, but. When you see that recruiting letter from them, it's got to be. It's got. I mean, your dick's got to be harder than hell. You know what I mean? Has like, to be. I, I just got a recruiting letter from Alabama. Like, oh my god, I'm that good. Yeah. I got a text from Coach Saban. You know, I, I got to come down for a visit. I, I'm number nine in in the linebacker room. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's a big deal. You have. It, it takes a special kind of kid to do that. One. You either going to work hard enough and and try to get up the roster spots, or two. You're just going to take it and be glad you're part of the team. Be part of the team. Get your degree. The kid with Ohio State was on the fucking team for three years before this year. Yeah. So he knew what was happening. You know, I mean, if you didn't make a starter on this year's linebacking core, you probably aren't. Well, the way I look at it, and, and it's, it'd be tough for a kid, obviously, it is. in that yeah, recruiting I mean, letter. And, and you're making this decision for four or five years out. Yeah. But like the Ohio States and Alabamas and well, maybe Clemson's, I don't know, maybe yeah. not anymore. <laughs> if you're not borderline NFL, mm -hmm. you probably shouldn't go there. <laughs> yeah. Because they have NFL guys at every position. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and I mean borderline NFL, like drafted. Yes. Yeah. Like they have really, they have a lot of guys that just sign undrafted. Yeah, undrafted. I mean, and, but yeah. like if you're not <coughs> at that level. Yeah. You go go be a stud somewhere. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> I mean, you look at the uh, the uh, if anybody watched Hard Knocks, the running back 
that was in between being cut for the Cowboys played at Tiffin. Yeah. He, I mean, even on the hard knocks, he said, I had a lot of offers from D1, but I wanted to go somewhere where I could play, and I knew that I would stand out because right. of my ability. That's a good way to look at it. You know, he got his opportunity with the Cowboys, and he's on the roster, you know? Yeah. And that, that's one of those, especially at a skill position, too, Yeah, but also, like, offensive line. Mm-hmm. They're going to find you if you put film out. They're going yeah. to find you. Yep. You know, somebody like a running back, like, hey, this guy's prototypical. If you're... Five ten to six foot, mm-hmm. two twenty to two thirty five. Yep, that's kind of the the sweet zone, and a and you run a four five. That's kind of the yeah. As I think we talked about this before. I watched a sports science on that, and it's obviously you have anomalies. Yep. everywhere. Yep, but like the best running backs. Yeah, ever in the NFL for the most part are in that five ten mm-hmm. two twenty run a four five. Yep. Because it's the the depreciating return of if you run a four two, you're almost too fast yeah. for running back. Like yep. you're getting to their holes too quick. Yep, yep, yep. Plus, obviously, you're hitting people harder. Yeah. So you're taking and more you're, damage. And you're, if you're running that fast, you typically aren't two thirty. Right. You're not. You, your right. body isn't. Yeah. There's some with, freak yes. shows, but yeah. for the most part, I mean, like Derrick Henry is the anomaly. Like, yeah, that doesn't happen. Like, you know? Yeah. You don't have yeah upright runners. Yes. Kind of exactly. like that. I mean, yeah. Zeke. Zeke coming out of Ohio State, kind of one of those anomalies. Yeah, he was. Well, he was, he was 5'10", 220, 225. Okay, yeah, I guess. I mean, I thought he was like 6'2", 6'3". I don't think so. Okay. He might be six foot, but that could just be, hey, how tall are you? Uh, six foot. Yeah. <laughs> like in high oh, school, okay. high school yeah. basketball, I'm six foot. I'm six foot. The, uh, you know, and I think going along with that, it's just kind of like what we said before. It's you see the name and it's like, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh my God, this is so cool. It's just gotta be. I mean, it's gotta be. At 18, I mean, some of these guys who get the letters when they're 16 or 17, it's like, fuck, you know, yeah. this is, this is awesome. Like, am I, am I that good? No, you're probably not, but you're good enough to get a letter. That's something. It's something, but you know, I, and I, I don't know when my mindset is like, I'd rather go play. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I know some, some people are like, oh, I can play and I can, I can work my way up, which is great, but <coughs> you gotta be a little bit of a realist. Like, yeah, maybe not. Not in the last, I would say, eight years do you see that happen on your top tier teams. Right. Because the recruiting is so heavy now. Like, it's, it, there's so many kids, there's so many, and they're, they're just everywhere, and they're, they're just better than you. Because what are they, not your travel squad, but what do they carry? 100 guys? I think so. Something like that. You know, so a rotating through your career of a hundred guys, you can say forty of those guys will never see the field. Yeah, in a in a game game. Yeah, they're in any game in the Akron yeah. game. There's guys that didn't get to play in that yeah. game. I exactly. Mean, I mean, the cool thing about like if you go like m- major D one, you know, your 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 power five D one. If you're the practice squad, you're really good. Yeah, you're really like it's an honor yeah. to be on the practice. Like you're you're really really good. You're. And you're starting in the MAC, exactly, exactly. And I don't know if anybody really looks at it like that. Like when like when you're a preferred walk on, like that's not a bad thing. Yeah, that's a really really good thing. You're you're not quite there for us to give you the money, but you're going to be in the practice squad, which means that you travel with the team, whether you dress or not, and then you dress at every home game, which is a huge fucking deal for people. And at that point in time, of hey, you get a bunch of cool gear. Yeah, no shit. And, and they're paying for your education. Yeah. Now, one thing, I think they said it on the broadcast. I don't know if you were able to hear with what you were doing. No, I, I didn't watch any of the game. Um, <sighs> shit, the running, the freshman running back. The Henderson? Yeah, Henderson. I'm pretty sure it slipped in there that, like, the last week he bought. He got some, after rushing for 260, he got some NIL money and bought a new car. Yeah. You know, of, like, uh. I think he bought a Camaro or oh, something. Gosh, it was yeah. like, okay, well, see, it's working. Yeah. You rush for 260 yeah. yards, you fucking get some money. You get some money, yeah. The, uh, which is so cool and so wild at the same time. It's like, weird. What, exactly. What we're so used to and seeing is like, oh, he rushed for 200 yards. He got an extra peanut butter sandwich in line at the lunch. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? He got a standing ovation when he went to class the next day. Because I think where people thought that was going to go was like Nike was going to come in and start throwing money around. It's like, it one, it's not, 
that way of like no. they could throw you know say if it was Trevor Lawrence's freshman year when this happened yeah. and he was the top tier top tier and say Nike throws like 4 million dollars at the kid knowing that he can tear his knee up and it's all over tomorrow yeah i mean it's a, yeah they're not going now to you do might that. see them give him with stuff the, with the one and done stuff like a yeah. zion comes in and was like yeah we'll give this kid a million dollars yeah you you know but you're not gonna you're no, not, not gonna football, see it because one it's the longevity you have yeah. to play two years at least three three years well, yeah yeah i mean typically you're playing three years yeah and so the, the longevity of that is you could really have a really really good freshman year you could really suck the next year you know what i mean it's right it is wild that but uh well, you're, you're right. You're not seeing any of these major companies. Yeah. You're seeing and, a lot of and these that's smaller because ones. a lot of people they they look at it what it's going to be, but college football is not a national. It's it's a it's very regional. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, you know, Alabama's quarterback making a million dollars or whatever. Well, a big company is not throwing it to him because half the country doesn't know who the fuck that guy is. Exactly. Yeah. You know, it's never seen Alabama, him play. It's an never, Alabama uh, person. Yeah. You know company that's doing it for him you know yeah it's just like the ewers kid it's a texas texas made drink that is right. giving him money and he's from that town where the fucking company is that's where he's getting his cash it's stuff like that where people are like it's not nike just signing you a contract and you have to wear nike stuff this whole time that's not what they're doing it's these smaller businesses you're throwing yeah, somebody a bone it's stuff that where you're a name like he's a name in his local area in texas yeah now he's on the roster at Ohio State. He's a nobody. Yeah, he's just one hey, of the buddy, guys. You're not playing, yeah. but nobody you're cares. You're technically the fourth string. Yeah, because it was between the what? Yeah, the, there was the, never McLeod a chance that, or the other guy Miller yeah, or like, he, yeah, that came out early. He's like, no, he's no, he's not. He's not a. He's an active. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> of, he's not playing. Can't not imagine playing. He even knows the offense. Not not a whole lot. No, not that there's much to know. Yeah. <laughs> our offense fuck terrible. College. <laughs> I, I think I just spend too much time watching NFL stuff. Yeah. Like when you watch Mannings and then yeah. and I watch a lot of that Darius Butler with his defense yeah. and stuff like that of like then you start watching a college game going What the fuck is this? You guys ran fifteen straight plays and you haven't ran motion once. Mm-hmm. Of like, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah. So, like, I get used to that NFL game of, like, well, these, that's why when Sarkeesian was at Alabama last year, Mm -hmm. obviously that, you know, shit tons of talent for Alabama. But that aside, yeah, they're getting their number one guy that you're double teaming so wide open because they put him in motion to force you into a fucking spot that you can't cover. Yeah. And they know you can't cover. Yeah. That's why they do it. Yeah. Exactly. But no other colleges do that. They nope. don't use that, you know. No. Because quarterbacks can't read defenses. Yeah. Because it, it, they're all, look at me. Uh-huh. Hey, coach, what are we doing? Yeah, exactly. Well, hey, if you want to play at the next level, maybe you start learning some of this shit mm-hmm. and just say, hey, coach, I, you yeah. know, especially like nowadays when you're playing in Akron and stuff yeah. like that and, you know, Mercer or whatever. Yeah. It's like, hey, don't look at me. You make the fucking call. Mm-hmm. Adjust your protection. Yeah. Adjust your routes. This is on you. Yeah. You know. Exactly. That's only going to help you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm i with you on that. I mean, it's there's a lot of... It's just a lot of talent beating beating not talent. Yeah. You know, it, I think that's a lot of it. And, and it happens with your scheduling. I mean... Yeah. You played Akron. Yeah. You didn't really have to do anything. No. You know, it's... You, you, just, you just don't... <clears throat> you look at even like Oklahoma. Like, they have a pretty pretty fun offensive they motion yeah somewhat but still it's pretty basic college reads because they're not yeah they don't want you to have to do too much right you're still like the rattler kid he's been a three four year starter now yeah but and it's just, not any good he still they still don't want him to do a whole hell of a lot they're still having him just do simple shit you know well that, that's a guy who's the front runner was the front runner for the heisman yeah and it's like through like three weeks, he had like two touchdowns. I'm yeah. like, well, what? Yeah. You guys have more talent than every team you've played and you can't <laughs> do anything. Yeah. Uh, there, It's just, there's no, like you have Alabama and then like the dominance, the dominance just isn't there. Right. You know what I mean? From the right. other, like Georgia looks pretty good. Yeah. Other than that, 
There's not a whole you don't see dominating performances. That, that was a funny one. It was like a I can't remember who it was, but you know, they post their top twenty. Maybe we should start doing that, but they post their top updated top twenty five. This was my thoughts. And I'm looking at it. And they'd flip Georgia and Alabama. Yeah. And gave Georgia number one, which is fucking wild. Super wild. To even think about that. They played, they beat Clemson, which is a bad, not that great of a win now. Yeah. And they couldn't score. Yeah. But they also launched Florida way up for losing to Alabama by two. Yeah. So it's like, you can't have it both ways. You can't have Alabama win by 60 and drop down, but also use them to launch Florida up by Florida getting beat by them. Uh Uh-huh. So you, you, it doesn't make any sense here. I wish I, I wish we would do more of the, and I hate like, I hate it and I love it. But I don't think we use it to what it's supposed to be for when when especially when the committee comes out there. What we use as the eye test? Because what the fuck does that? <laughs> what mean? the fuck does that mean? But on the other hand, you can clearly tell who's better than another team based on some performances. Now, when you start getting in like your conference play, sometimes it's just up in the air yeah. with, with the lower level teams like Penn State being number four. I don't see how they're the number four team. I don't either. You know what I mean? I don't see that. I've watched them twice now. I watched them play Wisconsin and I watched them play Auburn last last two weeks ago. Yeah. I like you struggled to beat Wisconsin who just got their asses beat by Notre Dame. Not really. <laughs> Not really, but they see, that's did. another one. Are we using that as an eye test? Which one? The, the Notre, Notre Dame. Dame. <laughs> or, or are we looking at the score? Like like yes. you just said, no, you I, just got your ass beat. But they didn't. No, I, I, I watched two pick I watched, sixes. Yes, I, I mean, it. it was a game. It was a game. But two pick sixes is still... At the end. At the, but, but it the, still tells the me... The score is not the game. No, and I'm not watching. To me, when you have a quarterback that can't throw and throws two pick sixes, you're not very good. That second one, I don't know if you've seen it. I didn't see it. It was so... Throwing like a <coughs> 10 yard out... Yeah. To the wide side. Oh. Too short? No, he, he was going to make it. But boy, that's a long ass throw. And yeah. you could, I mean, you could see it. Like, as soon as he starts cocking the ball to throw it, you watch the jump, safety. Just start jumping it. Comes from 15, 20 uh-huh. yards away. Yeah. And full steam. Like, he's running a slant, just like runs right in front of ev- the other defender. And the receiver, yeah. and just catches it in stride, <laughs> just like, all right, yeah. Well, there you go. It's, and that's that's kind of where I'm at with the eye test. Like Wisconsin, they don't have they don't have any offense. They don't have any offense. Penn State, what are you? Yeah, what are you? Are you gonna are you run the ball? Do you pass the ball? Do you have a good defense? Don't you have a good defense? Right. Is it was it just bad offense against Wisconsin? I mean, I mean, you played a solid game against Auburn, but is Auburn any good? I, I think if you like, if you were to ask me the question of. <laughs> Who's your top four right now? I don't yep. think I have one. I know. That's the that's that's the crazy part. I mean I, think I, I have two. I would have two. It may be three. Maybe I've three. Al- Alabama's the national champions. One hundred percent. And I mean George is number two, but I'm not sold on it yet. Yeah. I mean, if if I'm going off of these, they're they're one through five. Like from the games I've watched Iowa play there, they look better than Penn State. Iowa's a good team. They look better than Penn yeah, State. They're more well rounded. But exactly. They look more accomplished. They know what yeah. they are on offense. They have a solid defense. Yeah. They're a better team just looking at them. They should Which be they play in a couple weeks, I think. I think they do too. They should be at number four just in my eyes. And then they have Oregon at number three. I s okay, I'm okay with that number three. They beat Ohio yeah. State. They haven't lost. I'm okay with that number yeah, that's three. That's fine. But the fact I, the Penn State at number four bothers me. Like they, we yeah. don't know what they are. We haven't seen anything what they're going to be. And I get it. Penn State's a household name. Yeah, Iowa looks like a better football team. Give them a little credit. Yeah, which I, you know, they're getting a lot of credit. Yeah, they are because they they rifled up that uh, the one that was great to me was uh, Texas A because I hate Texas A and M. I think yeah. that's very well known because they're a garbage football team. Yeah. And they always have been. Yeah, I don't know that. And everybody's yeah. like, this is the year they're going to knock Alabama off. They're going to win that side. Well, you just got throttled by Arkansas. Yeah. And the score should have been way bigger than, well, you know, they lose their quarterback or whatever. But 
like that wasn't a game. No. And like, and you're going to beat Alabama? That that was your yeah. And then the the stat that they gave because I watched pretty much all that game. The stat they gave: Texas A and M has not won a conference title since 1998. Wow. And they think they're a top tier program. Hmm. Okay. And you know, a lot of people are going to listen and go, <coughs> "Well, you know, in the SEC, it's t-. no, 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 no." They've only been in the SEC for a handful of years. Yeah, They're in the exactly. Big 12. Yeah. They can beat anybody. Buddy. Um, that was 1998. I think they won their conference. And if I recall, they played Ohio State in a bowl game. And I think Ohio State beat their ass. Okay. I think like the Sugar Bowl or something. Gotcha. But yeah, I mean, Texas a and I'm glad they dropped to where they dropped. Like, I don't even you, know where they dropped. 15th. 15th. They were 7th. Yeah. I fucking Arkansas, love that I'm glad coach. Arkansas. I love that coach at Arkansas, man. Did you see his interview? Like talking about, because I guess he was getting, not, I don't know if criticized, but he's, he's no, I guess he's known as not being like a hard ass. No. He's just, I mean, he he's not one to just sit there and yell, I guess. And people were like, well, how does that? And he gave a, which makes total sense to, in my head. He goes, if I'm standing over a player and a, the player is, so worried about a coach ripping their ass, he's not going to play any good. No. Said so if he has, if he knows that he's going to, if he has the confidence from the coach behind him, he's going to give him his all. And he goes, and that's the philosophy that I play with. He goes, if there's a problem, of course we say something. We coach him up, but we don't stand there and just harp on him, harp on him, harp on him for where they're not going to get any better about right. that. Which makes a whole lot of sense. Yeah. I'm not saying that you know other coaches do that, but he makes a really really good point. If that player is afraid. He's just going to get yeah. chewed out. He's going to be so afraid. He's not going to do anything right. And here's the funny thing. People giving him shit. They've won more games this year yeah. than they have in like the last seven combined. Yeah, exactly. He's undefeated in the top 10 at Arkansas. Yep. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's seems like it, he's just like a down home guy. He's nothing. Well, he was like an offensive line coach for like 30 years. Something like that. Yeah. Which is awesome. Oh, great. Like yeah. a lot of enough people don't do that. Uh-huh. But I did. Uh hear a clip of what he said uh, when on game day or whatever. He's talking about being a coach. He's like, I don't know if I'm doing it right. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. But I'm doing it the way I want. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, awesome. There you go. That way he's talking about the yeah. transfer. Hey, if you enter the transfer portal, pack your shit. Yeah. Because you don't get to enter it and then come back to my team. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, it makes... Makes sense. I mean, I, I the more the guy talks, the more you're like, yeah, this guy, yeah, this guy's. I mean, when you've been around and you've been doing as something as technical as offensive line, you know the game of football. Yeah, like people don't give those guys enough credit. Like, they have to know everything. Yeah, they, they have to know everything. Pass protection, run. I mean, run block, run scheme, everything. They have to know a lot of that shit. So the guy knows football, and I, I'm glad he's getting his chance. I'm glad that they're you know undefeated. Good for him. Yeah. Well, that's that's one they talk about of uh, the other one is special teams coaches. Yeah. Like John Harbaugh is a special teams coach. Yep. He's outside the head coach. That's the only coach that addresses a full team in the uh, NFL. Uh-huh. And a lot of people don't think about yeah. that, but no, no. Yeah. Like, you see, you talk to everybody. I, I think a lot of people, because they still think like college-like and shit uh-huh. like that. I'm like, no, no, no. In the NFL, unless you're a stud, you play you're playing teams. on special teams. Yeah. That's just the way it is. Yeah. You only got rosters 50, but they're only active, what, 48? Something on like game that. Day? Yeah, game 40, day. I think it used to be 47, Dressed. but I think they gave Dressed 48. Dressed is 48, yeah. Yeah, because there's uh, like five or six it, inactives. Again, but people don't think of something as extra point or field goal special teams. Yeah. You don't think about it as, as a whole unit. You know yeah. the kickers, obviously, on special teams, but your starting linemen are on field goal, their own extra point. Mm. Like Quentin Nelson is on the extra yeah. point. For, you know what I mean? Like most of your starting offensive linemen. And, but they usually interior. Yes, interior guys. Yeah. Because you get outside the guard position, those guys are getting, those mm-hmm. Those are your backups because they are getting murdered. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying like a lot of those guys play it. You know, I mean, you don't, but a lot of people wouldn't think as that, oh, I guess that isn't kickoff or kick return or, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, I know a lot of people think Which that. Which that pisses me off on. Like watching on Ohio State, and I, because mm-hmm. that was an Urban Meyer thing of, hey, our starters play, play special teams, yeah, which is fine, especially on punt. 
but that was the only time that their starters played special teams was punt. Yeah. On kickoff, there's a lot of starters to play special teams. There are. Stop trying to pin it in the corner. Just kick it. Yeah. Just kick. Put the backups in so we uh-huh. don't pull a fucking hamstring to a starter. Yeah. Kick it in the fucking end zone. Because <laughs> how many times is this corner? Because here's what happens. You keep trying to kick to that corner and they fair catch it for the 25. And then in the second half, sometime they don't fair catch it. And your guys have started to fucking lighten up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, exactly. And they bust you. Uh-huh. That's why in the NFL they kick it in the fucking end zone. Yeah. Of like, and it's awesome. We're not even going to give you a chance. Yeah. Just kick it in the fucking end zone. I don't know why more teams do it because they have the fucking leg. They're a Division One kicker. Yeah. They have the leg. If you're good enough to pin it in the corner on the one, you have enough. Kick it in the end <laughs> zone. Kick it in the end zone. Yeah. I get so tired of that because you're asking 19 year olds to stay in it when they haven't seen a fucking kick yeah. return in yeah. two games and then all of a sudden they get busted. We have some pretty good games this week in college. Yeah. Some ranked opponents. Yeah. You have your Arkansas and Georgia. I'm interested in that game. I am too. I mean, I don't I'm, know about Georgia's uh, offense. Again, I'm fucking pissed that that's a noon game. It's a noon game, and I don't know where Arkansas's quarterback is right now. Okay. You know? Yeah. yeah. That Oh, my God. They're back up, though. Yeah. <laughs> he is so fucking fast. Uh-huh. Like, he took that first snap, and, like, he... You seen him? Yeah, basically, it was obviously quarterback design run to the outside of like mm-hmm. he was four steps in. It's like, oh shit! Yeah, like this guy can move. Yeah, yeah. This, uh, <laughs> I think it's going to be a fun game because we don't know what Georgia's offense is. Yeah, they're like, well, they hung sixty two points. I don't even know who they played. Yeah, it can't. It can't be any good because you played a top tier defense. Now, I'm not talking about team. Yeah, top tier defense. Clemson has a top tier defense, and you scored three points. You scored three points. Your defense scored more than your offense did. Yeah. So I want to see what they do against Arkansas. And I'm not saying Arkansas is all world or anything, but, but it seems something. like one, they have confidence. Two, they're rolling right now. Yeah, that's got that, it's going to mean something. Well, because that's what I want to see too with Georgia's defense. Yeah, because the one thing you have that off, you you can have that defense. Yeah, can you stop the quarterback run? Yeah, because that's a big deal in college. Mm-hmm. You know, you can stop a lot of shit in college, but that yep. quarterback is the yep is the killer. Yeah. Um and I think I I think it's going to be a close one. I really I do. I think so too. I don't think, I don't think George is going to score enough to either. blow anybody I, out. I mean, I'm thinking like a 24-17, 17 yeah. to 17 to 14, you know what I mean, within 3 to 7 point right. range, you know what I mean? If it's if it's more than 7, I would be shocked. Yeah, I would. I too. really would be, and I'm not saying it's even going. They're going to make it to 24 points. You know what I mean? I just something yeah. something tells me it's going to be close. And it, to the normal eye, it may look like a boring game. Yeah, but it's going to be a good football game. Yeah, see, I'll miss pretty much all that yeah. game because there's just no way I can. Yeah, yeah, you're you're starting to wind down. Well, hell, here, this is what Vegas thinks. Guess guess what the spread is? Georgia's favored. Guess what the spread? Five and a half. Eighteen and a half. See, that is... I just... Nothing... Now, handicapping college games has yes. got to be... But I, I've yet to see anything that tells me that Georgia can do that. This is number two versus number eight. And the spread is eighteen and a half. Yeah. Man, they're just daring you to take the under on that. Are they over? You know what I mean? They're just daring you to do something there. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I, I am shocked by that, how, how wide that spread is. Well, I think that a little bit of that comes in because it kind of is the Ohio State effect, too, and like Alabama and stuff like that, is you have so many Georgia fans that are betting on that game, mm-hmm. and there's not enough people with the balls to put their money on Arkansas. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, you know, they won two games. Last, yeah, you know, exactly. It, yeah. So they got to keep pushing that. To, we... Hey, we're totally out of whack on this. So mm-hmm. if Oregon, you know, yeah, the uh, the next one, the next one's fun. It's Cincinnati and Notre Dame. Yeah, which is what a three thirty start or two thirty two thirty fucking NBC fucking NBC sucks. Fuck that you, should Notre be a Dame. night game. Yes, that's a night game. It's a night game. It's a night. It's it's seven and nine. It's ah, this is. I think t- the night games are garbage, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, 
I don't even know that because they're... even the uh yeah because even the Ole Miss Alabama games three thirty yeah that's the only other game Baylor and Oklahoma State Indiana and Penn State yeah Auburn and LSU is nine o'clock which is not it's a little yeah why wouldn't you put that with the... yeah it's seven and nine and you're kicking off at two thirty I hate that fucking NBC join a conference and get on a normal schedule yeah no shit. You know, if you want to start at a weird time, start it at like 430. That way we can get it all the way up to the night game. Yeah. So we don't have that, that, you know, that hour gap. Yeah. The one, I think it's going to be interesting Cincinnati wise. Because Marcus Freeman used to be their DC. Yeah. He brought over that defense, which they're still running that same defense. Right. To Notre Dame. It's going to be two offenses that are going against the same defenses. One, Cincinnati for the last three years since he's been there, and now Notre Dame since the beginning of this season. So you're going to have a feel of what it's going to look like. I think that's interesting. I, I, yeah. I, I think it is. I think it's something to where people don't think about it like that. It's, oh, shit, we're used to seeing this three high safety look in practice. Oh, I right. know what to run. Oh, and then the same well, other way around. I'm used to seeing it too. You know, I, I think that you're going to see a higher scoring game than what a lot of people think. That, that's another one of like, and you know, I'll, I'll beat this drum again of the regular season's too important. Mm-hmm. Is, is it at, it's at Notre Dame, isn't it? So if Cincinnati loses by a last second field goal at Notre Dame, their season's over. Yeah. That's the you best, know? Yeah. Of like regular that's season, a, a little too uh, fucking yeah. important. And that's what, no, I was just getting ready to bring up that point. This is the number four spot in the playoffs. As of 100%. right now. I mean, as of right now, this is the fourth spot. Because unless Ohio State runs the table, which they haven't looked like they can, I know uh, you're not in. Clemson, they're out. They lost two games already. Yeah. So this is the number four spot, and it's whew, it's it's in week five. They're playing for the fourth spot in the yeah. playoffs. It's wild. Yeah. It's it's that's crazy. That that'd be a that'd be a kicker. You know, if Cincinnati runs the table and gets that four spot, then you go play out. You you know, you make the play. Now, though, yeah. recruiting, it doesn't matter what the score is. Uh-huh. Recruiting-wise at Cincinnati, you make the playoffs. That's through yeah, the you're fucking up. roof. Yeah. And you're going to the Big 12. Uh-huh. But it's like, hey, congratulations. Here it comes. Yeah, here comes Alabama. Now, granted, it's the year you want to play Alabama. Yeah. Because even though they're better than everybody. Mm-hmm. It's the worst team they've had in yeah. the last five years, probably. <laughs> it's the worst team they've had since Ohio State beat them when the year they won the national championship. Yeah. Yeah, because they weren't really good that year. No. I just want to say, it's the worst team they've had in a decade, yeah. and they're still the best team they're in the country. the best team in the country. <laughs> and then you got Ole Miss, Alabama. <sighs> Can Lane Kiffin get the, get the win? Did you uh, f- fucking... M- did you hear what... Uh, what did Will Bond say? Will Bond I, I said seen that it he blowing was, up, but I never he, seen what he... He just said that he was trash and that you nobody wants Lane Kiffin running their program and just ran his ass into the ground. I'm like... What is that about? It doesn't even seem like a Will Bond thing to do. No. Like, he talks trash, but yeah, it's but usually not, not like that, Not like a person. He, like, fucking stuck him in personal. I wonder if that... <laughs> Sometimes I wonder... Like with the whole ESP, like if that's something that ESPN saying, "Hey, you need to yeah, you need to pick up know, on the trash talk." I it get I get so upset. Like that's why I can't. I don't even really watch. I don't watch ESPN. Yeah, because everything is so fucking negative. It's yeah. like you can't just say, "Hey, they they did a good thing." Like they will take Alabama, best team in the country, and you're gonna have all their pundits poke holes and tell you why Alabama's not any good. Yeah, like, which makes any sense. What are we doing? Well, because it's a hot take, and it, that's what gets attraction. Of like, no. Well, you're also a fucking dying industry, also. Yeah, exactly. So, and the fact that you need two guys to do that for you, you don't need everybody, everybody. to do that for you. Everybody. You, Stephen A's been doing it long enough. You can let him keep that job. And Feinbaum kind of does it in his own way that doesn't really sound that negative. He just sounds like he's speaking how he would normally talk to people. That's exactly what he would you do. You know, that's it's just. He doesn't give a fuck. He's like, no. yeah, they're not any good. Yeah, they're falling down. And and you can tell. And he's very. I don't like fucking Dabo. Yeah, like there, there's yes. one of those like yeah. fine bones. Like I I don't think that would go well, but he might smack him in the face. If yes. they, I mean, <laughs> yeah. you could tell there's something there with that. Yeah, and like other than that, like th- that's it. 
but he also covers the SEC, and you go, well, I mean, nobody can beat this team, yeah, so why pump the brakes a little yeah, bit. Yeah, shit. I mean. Yeah, I mean, but other than that, Baylor, Oklahoma, 21 and 19, who cares? Penn State, Indiana. <laughs> Indiana might run, give them a game. Who knows? They play nah, hard. Indiana's back to being nobody. Clemson have two losses. They'll That's give Ohio a State thing. a real game, though. Yeah, they just will. I, I'm interested in the the only thing in the Ole Miss Alabama game with Lane Kiffin because Alabama it's every defense's Achilles heel is quarterback run, and Lane Kiffin knows that, and he runs the fuck out yes, of his quarterback. Yes, he does, and he happens to have one that is crazy good at doing that. Yeah, so that's where. Now, is he going to get lit up on the defensive side? Yeah. Did he scheme that way last year? He had the best game plan that anybody's put against Alabama in a decade and still lost. Yeah. I mean, that's just, you know, that's just what it is. Yeah. I mean, 48 points. Alabama scored 50. Yeah. You know, it's just that. Which that's, it's going to be a high scoring game because that's yeah. what Lane Kiffin does. And Alabama's defense it's, is gettable. Yes, it is. I mean, it is. So you're going to, I mean, it's going to be a fun, it's going to be exciting because there's going to be a lot of scores, but I mean, Alabama still gets Well, they're going to roll in with, here's the thing is they are going to go with the game plan that Florida had. Florida had a lot of success. Ole Miss is better at that. Yeah. Just because mm-hmm. the quarterback. Yeah. He's more of a threat. Yeah. I'm with you on that one. But other than that, I mean, you don't really have a whole lot of other good games. Ohio State Rutgers not a good game. No, no, not at all. Three thirty. Three thirty. Yeah. Like, I might be able to make that game. I got shit going on. Of like, man, I need my Saturdays cleared, guys. Yeah. We need to. We need to get this shit going. All right, you want to talk about the big boys? Let's talk about the men's league. All righty. So Randy went five and zero oh last week in his picks. I'm a stud, and I went four and one. Big dick baby. <laughs> <laughs> Big dick energy over here. Fucking four and one. Fuck. That's, uh, that, Fuck. I love that. Uh, I, that just reminded me of your your kid crying. Baby's crying. <laughs> <laughs> Of uh, Tropic Thunder. Oh, yeah. Where Tom Cruise is like private jet. And he's like, yeah. big dick baby. Big dick baby. <laughs> <laughs> G5. Airplane. That might be his, the first time I ever watched that movie. And he came him. in and it's like, oh my God, is that I, Tom Cruise? Yeah. Like you have to look it up. Yes. And it's like, oh my God. I didn't know that was This is the him. greatest thing. I watched the movie. I saw the credits and his name popped up. I was like, where the hell was Tom Cruise? And then you go back and I'm like, that's fucking him. It was, <laughs> it was that might awesome. be one of the, that's the, I wish that would, I mean, it does cameos kind of happen. Yeah. But that was like a camp, not a, not even a camp. I mean, it was a major role in the movie, yeah. but it was one like, Hey Tom, can we get you for like three days? Yes. <laughs> I and guarantee it was he had fun such, with that one. Oh yeah. And then that's like a Ben Stiller, like Ben Stiller's yeah. guy that could pick the phone up, call Tom Cruise. Exactly. Go, hey. We got Robert Downey Jr. playing a black guy, and we think it'd be really funny. Yeah, we have if you <laughs> we have Jack Black playing a meth head, yeah. and fucking uh, Matthew McConaughey seems like playing Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of what he just does. Just kind of what he does. Oh god, great fucking movie. But yeah, you went five and zero. Oh. How's it feel? Feels okay. I really wish that we could bet in Ohio. It's such a. It takes so long because they can't figure out who they're going to let make all the money. Yeah, pretty much. And knowing Ohio, when they do allow sports book, it'll yeah. be something messed up and FanDuel won't be able to be involved. Probably. It'll be like, only like, at casinos. Well, it's only the best app that yeah. there is. I mean, yeah. obviously, we haven't been able to do the their their gambling app, but yeah. we do the fantasy. Yeah. And that's... Awesome. Yeah. I mean, there, it, it everything flows. It doesn't. Fr- I mean, it, yeah, it doesn't it freeze works. It. Exactly. Why would we not use this fucking app? I, uh, I, I, I don't know what's taking so. Long. I mean, I know what's taking so long, but it's like if the NFL is having 
freaking the spreads on the ticker now. Yeah. For this purpose. How the yeah. hell does not every state have this? <laughs> the dumbest thing in the world. We can drive to the Indiana border. Yeah. Make the bet and then just cross back over. Yeah. That's the stupidest thing in the world. Well, he should text our bets into George. He lives over close to the border. Yeah, he, he can just drive, just drive over, over there. Just... Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. George, if you're listening. We would have made a lot of money this week. Yeah, we would have. Wide side was nine and one. Nine and one. That's that's the wide side way, baby. See, because that's what I want to do is because we just, obviously, when we pick games, you guys <laughs> have heard that, that it's just random. Like, you don't know who you're getting. And yeah. You just yeah. pick it off the, uh-huh, off the top of the list. But to list. be able to throw like five bucks on a 10-team parlay, because a couple times last year it would have hit. Oh, yeah. That we both went five and oh. Yep. Been wild. Would have won wild some quiche. times. Would have won some quiche. Been throwing train parties. <laughs> oh, I'm the caboose. <laughs> that's what, well, that that started off because my thought of when we started this was going to be obviously we had a train problem. Yeah, <laughs> getting here. But you know, I was going to make a joke about it not being you know the fun kind of train. Yeah. <laughs> so th- that went by the wayside. I didn't get that joke out. So I hey, just threw it in there. You, you came back around with it and it worked. Train party. Train party. Who? Piles of cocaine. <laughs> oh my gosh. So did you you said that obviously you worked Sunday Yeah, you I had to work Sunday to afternoon. I didn't get watch. to see a lot. I watched like the first half of the I mean the Pittsburgh Steelers are <laughs> They're fucking hot terrible. fucking garbage. Hot ben fucking garbage. Needs to maybe he should quit at halftime. I tell you what. He can't play. He's bad. He can't play. He fucking. That, obviously, I've seen the replay of the yeah, second he, interception where he's he like, falls. he runs around and was falling and throws it right or what? Throws it right to the linebacker. Yeah. And then kind of tries to dive. Yeah. To, like, <laughs> it was like, I'm going to get my tackle sheet up like <laughs> that guy. And he threw it to him like yeah. was on the run to make At the him. tackle yeah. as he was throwing it. <laughs> I do. He's so bad. He, he should have just, just retired and let it, just let it go, man. Let it, it go. That offense is terrible. And they keep talking about that Matt Canada. I don't know what the hell the deal is. Me either. I want to say Maybe of all the pat, like 16 of his passes were either at the line of scrimmage or less than three yards. Yeah. I don't know what you're planning on doing, but that's not the way. This isn't college. Yeah. Like your best athlete out there is being covered by a guy that's probably the best athlete on the field. Uh-huh. It's well known in the NFL that the best athletes are the defensive backs. Yeah. So making him miss is mm. probably not your uh probably not your good strategy. Minimum there, he's going to slow you up enough that the <laughs> other guys can other get guys are going to get yeah. there. I I don't know if it's he he got promoted cuz him and Ben are still in the the jerk off chat room together or something They should be. I I don't get it because it doesn't look any different or better than what they've had the last five years. <laughs> now that you mention it. Or the jerk off chat room. Yeah. Like when he had to say that to his church <laughs> via the internet. Hey man, this is being recorded <laughs> right out of the gate. You got to know that you're a superstar. Gonna get out. Got to know that jerk off a lot, but maybe like, he stopped. I, you know, like how much was it like, yeah, to be was problem. it ruining your life? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, what was the, uh, I can't, I'm like, I'm getting in it, between quarters. Yeah. I just have to go rub one out in the locker room. Like, I, you know, it was like, yeah. were you just faking injuries? So you yeah. could jerk, cause you get injured six games a year and then you'll leave for a quarter and then you'll come back. Are you just got to go come? Uh, he's got to get a shot. No, he's <laughs> getting a shot out. Yeah. Got like his own room. <laughs> yeah. What is, what is that? Uh, that's Ben's jerk off room. <laughs> yeah, don't go in there. Don't go in there. It's disgusting. It's just one of those things. Where it's, uh, I about like I found on. the Lord because I was jerking off too much. Yeah. Like, how I, I kind of need a number. How much do you jerk off that you have to pray to stop jerking yeah. off? It's like, dude, just quit. It's, yeah, it can't be that bad. Like, Hire a bunch of fucking masseuses like Deshaun <laughs> Watson did, allegedly. Yeah, don't go in, <laughs> don't go into Ben's jerk off room. I about slipped on the floor last time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's one of those things of like, hey, Ben, I I know this has been beaten to death like your dick, <laughs> but I'm going to need a number because that's that's the only yeah. interesting thing because he's not good at football anymore. No. 
So the only thing that he can provide to the world is what's the fucking number, man? <laughs> how many? <laughs> how many more games is it before they bench him? Who are they going to bench <laughs> for? You because get, they kept Mason Rudolph. I, I mean, I think I think Haskins is the next guy in line. I think they signed Rudolph just in case Haskins wasn't anything because he's only on there for another year. Yeah. <laughs> Because you've seen the Mason Rudolph show. Yeah, it's not good. And it's bad. Yeah. I mean, hell, the way that Aaron Rodgers talked on his fucking Tuesday show on McAfee show, it seems like he wants to go to Pittsburgh. You want to be in Pittsburgh? Now, could you imagine that? Uh, Ben retires. They go win a Super Bowl. They get him and Devontae Adams. Yeah. Because I feel like that's a package deal. I feel like it's a package deal. Whoever, wherever Rodgers goes, I feel like Devontae Adams signs. Uh, I feel like you'd be stupid if you didn't. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of a, boy, a lot of love in Pittsburgh. A lot of love in Pittsburgh there, Aaron. Here's the one that <coughs> was an interview last week or whatever, and it was Pittsburgh base. But yeah. did you see the Todd Haley interview? Uh-uh. Whether you like him or not, he's awesome, dude. Yeah. He was an awesome interview. And whether you liked his offense or not in Pittsburgh or what he did in Cleveland, you know, all that shit. He's been in the NFL a long time. He's been an offensive coordinator in the NFL. For a long time. Yep. And ahead now he's now he's quasi retired. Mm-hmm. He's the offensive coordinator at a high school. Oh man. And they were talking to him about that. He's like, Yeah, it's fun. He's like, This is high school. They run one defense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you imagine that being like, Hey, I uh called plays in the NFL um for most of for my life. Super Bowl <laughs> yeah. championships. Yeah. Um, I feel like we can this cloud cover that you got going with your two deep. I feel like we can beat that. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't have another call. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we can get that going. Yeah, you're going to, Oh, you're going to, you're going to bring a backer in the a gap. <laughs> yeah. Figure. I think we get that. <laughs> but I mean, just the, the fact that <laughs> you coming up, if you're the defensive coordinator for the other team, you know, you also fuck. You also <laughs> teaching phys ed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, the, all right. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm done. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, that is funny. But uh, yeah, I just I can't imagine them sti- him sticking out the whole season. He's gonna get injured and then just call it quits. Yeah, he needs to call it just call it quits. They're just bad. They are. He should have called it quits. He wasn't any good last year. No, he was not. He should have just called it quits. And everybody's <laughs> like, "Well, what's wrong with him? Well, he's 39 years old, coming off Tommy John surgery, and coming off of how many other fucking surgeries? And you know." Didn't take great care of him. It was like, no. well, Tom Brady's fine. Well, Tom Brady, one, is a freak, and two, is... Takes care of himself. To a, I mean, to a ridiculous degree. Yeah. Like, he doesn't go home after a game and sit down and drink a, you know, case of Budweiser and yeah. eat Slim Jims. I mean, he's, you know, helping himself out. I mean, that's that's one of those ones of, hey, man, you're a Hall of Famer. He's the only one in his draft class playing anymore. Yeah. It's it's, it's you know, time. You it's just, time. You don't have it, and the offensive line is shit. Yeah, you're going to get hurt, and you don't have your receiving cores. Everybody's like, "Well, he's got receivers. Eh. They're okay." Yeah, they're nothing. But you don't have a guy like uh, that receiver core. If you still had Antonio Brown, yes. Now you have a receiving core. Hmm. Yeah, these guys, they're they're young. With that, that's like, another one. You don't one have with, a number one with Canada. You know, talking about the packages that they're running, their sub packages and stuff like that. The week before, you know, you're in a we must score crunch time third down, and you have a sub package in there, and your best receiver's not on the field because he's not part of that package. Yeah. This is the NFL. That guy needs to be on the field. Yep. Yeah. That makes any sense. Oh, man. All right, what else? I, I don't know. The um, fucking Bears. The Bears. I love just, when Orlovsky and Rex Ryan all that just went just in on went that off. guy. Like, Orlovsky's like, you need to fire him <sighs> right now. I I don't under... They make one hundred. They make great points. Yeah. You, you what are have, you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You are setting this kid up for... It looks like a Jay Gruden Haskins thing. Here's one. Um, we're playing Cleveland. You're getting your first start because Andy Dalton's hurt. They have a good defense. They're crazy good on defensive line. Yeah. And they're super crazy good at the pass rusher position. Yeah. <laughs> you drafted a mobile quarterback. You want him to be a pocket passer. Yeah. Does he have to be able to do that in the NFL? 
but to not even move him of like, you know what? Let's just sit you back here and let these guys hit you. Yep. <laughs> We're not going to roll you out. We're not going to run a boot. We're not going to get 47 yards of offense. That You're an NFL uh, team. They, I, I saw the meme that said that <laughs> Justin Tucker had 19 more yards of offense on his kick than, than they had. You're an NFL team. That's just, he, he does need to be fired. Like yeah. anytime soon. Now's a good because time. Because it doesn't get any better. No. You didn't chip anybody. You have Miles Garrett and Jadavian Clowney. Literally meeting him at the, at the snap. Oh, you're going to you you be back eight yards. See you there. Yeah, exactly. Both of us. Yeah, we'll get we're going to tag team you. That's the train that they ran. Yeah. Oh, my Run God. Train it's on just Justin embarrassing. Fields. Just embarrassing. Dude. <laughs> nice, nice major pain reference. I like it. I like it. Oh gosh! And then how embarrassing is the Lions? How the fuck do you give up a fourth and nineteen? Yeah. How the fuck do they, you give up a fourth? And everybody's 19? like, you know, they want to talk about that missed uh, delay a game, which it was. Yeah. But that was after the fourth and nineteen. You gave up a fourth and nineteen. How the hell? In an NFL game, do you give up a fourth and nineteen on a sixty-eight yard? You didn't rush the edge. Yeah, <laughs> you tried to rush the center. Why? That's where they block. Yeah. Usually, uh, your edge guy, they let him there. go. Yeah. If it takes an extra two tenths of a second to get that off because he had a little extra half giddy up in his yeah. step, you block it. And Dan Campbell is a special teams coach. Yeah, he's tight end. But, tight end, whatever. Uh. Uh, how about that for having, Justin Tucker, though? That's yeah, fucking awesome. It's awesome. Uh, and, then, and the fact that when it, it hit bounced, the crossbar. Yes, that's, that's what I, I love mean, the it most. Was just like, that's what I love the most, man. Remember last week when you said, do the Colts go 0 and 3? They do. They do. They, they do go 0 and 3. Good. They are not good. I like Chris Ballard. Does this get him fired? I don't think this year. Because that. We shit on the Carson Wentz when it happened. And then you just kind of hope that yeah. hey, maybe he does have something. Mm-hmm. He doesn't. He doesn't. One, and you're going to watch it. He ran himself into the injury last week. Yep. Did and it again then this with, week. Yeah. With immobile legs. Yes. Did the same fucking shit of yeah. like, hey, man, if you can't, if you can't keep yourself on the field, mm-hmm. there's nothing we can do. Yeah. I, and then the story comes out that Stafford was looking for houses in Indianapolis of like, so it's kind of one of those now whether you trade or not mm-hmm. for Stafford, but it comes at like the last two seasons that it came out that Tom Brady wanted to play in Indianapolis, yeah, and it comes out that Matthew Stafford <coughs> that Indianapolis one of the places that he was willing to go, yeah, and you trade to take a stupid contract at Carson Wentz, yeah, and an hey, injury pal. prone one, hey pal, yeah, that's why I don't think it's this year. I mean, if it might be, what the fuck do I know? If it doesn't get any better, probably this year, yeah. The only thing I don't say this year, because it's I know it's a whole, I know it's a really really bad move, but it's really the only first bad move he's had. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's the only reason why I say probably not this year. But that that's that's kind of what gets you in yes, the NFL. It does. When, and that's, you, when yes, you make and, those trades, you're tied to that guy now. Yes, it, I, I, yeah, and he I wasn't get that. tied to a quarterback. No, he was not. No, he was not. But yeah, I mean, he could be. I mean, I'm glad the Titans are starting to figure some shit out. Because I don't know what it is. I like the Titans. They just yeah, they're just an why. old school team. Now I for some fucking reason they don't know how to throw the ball to Julio Jones. I, I and I don't get that part of it. Like, how do you not try to at least target him seven eight times? I, just as a yeah. bare minimum. I don't. Know, I know AJ Brown's really really good, but why? It's Julio fucking Jones. Why are you not yeah. trying to throw him the ball a little bit more? I, I don't I don't get that. Yeah, their offense is I don't know. It's, it's I kind of like them too. Yeah, it's, it's just, just one an of those. old school blue. You know what I mean? There's no like before Julio got there, you had Derrick Henry. You didn't yeah. have really any other stuff. Yeah, you didn't have. It was just to a do. blue collar team that ran the ball, and I mean, you take a chance on Tannehill, and he's panned out okay. I mean that you know what I mean. So you you, you want to root for them because they don't do anything wrong. They're not assholes. They don't. You know what I mean? Right. It's just. Like figure that off. Figure out your passing game because it's not there. Because that's one of those things too. Like, and I know, you know, they're not running an offense like Lafleur would run and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. 
and obviously Tannen Hill is not Aaron Rodgers. But the play designs in Green Bay, Devontae Adams double covered on every fucking play. And he gets now once in a while he'll get one on one. Yeah. Which is a mistake. Yes, yes, it is. But they're moving plays and running route combinations for on a double. Yeah. For that's him. getting him open. Yeah. That fucking play at the goal line where they ran him in motion and then shot him back out uh-huh. for a touch for a four yard touchdown pass that was nobody there. Nobody was, I was there. like, there's nothing you could do about that. Nope. You cannot that 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 play could not be defended. Nope. Now yeah. you're gonna see six other teams run that <clears throat> yeah, exactly. this week. And I'm really for if the if the Titans would go out and find an offensive coordinator that could run those kinds of schemes, yeah. They would be fantastic. Because what are you gonna do? Yeah. You're going to stack the box, obviously, because you don't want Derrick Henry to run all over your ass. Oh, we have A.J. Brown. We have Julio Jones. Yeah. What are you going to do? They could be so much more dangerous offensively than what they are. Just yeah. play action alone. Because you got to respect Derrick Henry because he's a fucking monster. Moving on. Like, do the Seahawks suck? Yeah. They looked good the first two weeks. Um... They did not look good. They, like, they looked good in the first half. They didn't score in the second half. Yeah. Like, Russ was not cooking. What a loser. That's it. <laughs> Damn it. That was it. You were build, I thought you were building up for something better. I, I couldn't, you know. I don't know what to say about that fucking prick. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh,. Yeah, I, now you I, know things come around. Yeah, feels like the team sucks. Yeah, I don't. They they haven't had an identity since since Marshawn Lynch le- left because they've always been. It's we, been love, we've love, always love Russ really Cook. we've always been like well we want to run the ball still but you don't because Russ throws it forty times a fucking game. Yeah, so you don't want to run the ball because you want to run the ball, but then he bitches and moans and tries to get a trade because he's a little fucking diva. Yeah, I they're not good. No, I mean. The Vikings aren't good either, and they they scored 30 points on you guys. Yeah. Yeah, like their defense has been a problem. Mm-hmm. The Pete Carroll defense is, it's gone. has been picked over. Yeah. Like, hey, yeah, you, you know. You had to change some things up, guys. You know, they're running it in Dallas, and they've had success in <laughs> Dallas, but you also played Philadelphia. Yeah. So, I mean, you're going to get picked apart by a Dan Quinn team. has actually kind of changed a little. A little he's not, bit. He's not yeah. running his just typical one high safety anymore. Right. He's He's mixing it up a little bit, but... Like Jamal Adams, I know you're a safety, but you're you're playing fucking linebacker because you're always around the line of scrimmage. Yeah. So I don't know what <laughs> I mean. That's, yeah. I mean the Chiefs, man. <laughs> Chiefs, are they gettable now? I think you know, and there was a good point made of like because they were always like last all of last year. Flip the switch, we'll just go win. Yeah. Well, hey man, that doesn't always work. No. And it doesn't seem like that's working. Like they get some, they get off <laughs> to slow ass starts. I tell you. I mean, we talked about it before when the Tampa Bay, or hell, we talked about it two years ago, three years ago now, maybe even four, fuck, I don't know, when the Patriots gave you a blueprint on how to stop the Rams. Right. The Buccaneers gave, gave you last year a plan on how to stop the Chiefs. They're almost as bad in pass protection as the Bears are. They, you had Joey Bosa and you, you, you left him man on man. Well, that's what they were talking about at San Diego was like, no, the whole game plan for defense was keep him in the pocket. Yeah. Don't let him. If you don't let him break contain, then he's done. There's nothing he can do. He can only run straight back. Yeah. And then he threw a pick. And they can't run the fucking ball. No. And, you know, people say, well, the way these offenses are anymore, you don't need to. Yeah, you do. No, you do. Still need to run that football. Yeah. Because your play action means jack shit if you can't run it. Yeah. Why would we respect it? Why, yeah. Why is my safety taking a step? Yeah. And the fact of the matter is, one, it you can control the clock. You can control. Yeah. The, if you run the ball, you control the game. It it's that simple. At some point in time, you have to. You have if to. You're be able winning to run the, the ball. game. Yes. You have to be able to run the ball when they know you're going to run the ball. Yeah. I. Uh, I'm not sure. A lot what, of questions out there. There is a lot of I questions mean, with some out good there. Teams yep. too. Yeah. I mean, I talk about my team. My team has played absolutely fucking nobody. But they're plus eight in the, Winning tur- in the NFL. Yeah, but they're plus eight in the turnover ratio, and they have no turnovers themselves. Yeah, that's good football. They're averaging yeah. over 150 yards rushing a game. That's why you get Teddy Bridgewater. Mm-hmm. 
obviously he's not going to go, you know, he's going to throw no, some yes, picks. Yes, he's going to throw some picks. But he's going to throw maybe five, yeah, six. And they're not, they're, I mean, it's not going to be just these stupid ass Ole passes where you're, nope. you, I mean, Teddy Bridgewater is going to march you down the field efficiently and let the defense do what the defense is. Yeah. That's what your team is. Yeah. So you get a quarterback compliments mm-hmm. that team. Yeah. It's, uh, we'll, we'll find out how good they, I mean, they play the Ravens this week, so we'll find out, you know, yeah. how come, how, how well they are. Um, it's exciting being a Denver fan. I mean, I haven't had this much excitement since fucking Peyton Manning was well, there. I mean, there's a chance, you know, tomorrow night that Bengals go three and one now. Yeah. They also play this, tomorrow night. Yeah. Yeah. They play the Jags. This is a game that normally like Jags. Beat yeah. Them. Yeah. I will not be shocked if the Jags win this game. I wouldn't be shocked either. Now that you say that they're playing the Jaguars. It's I just kind of one of those. And it's so hard for an NFL team to go to not win a game. Yeah, they're gonna have, they win one at some point in fucking time. Yeah. They're still not even the favorite to the Jets. They have better odds than the Jets to win a game. The Jaguars do. Yeah, yeah. Like the the betting odds are your best betting odds to pick a team to go undefeated is the Jets. I can see that. Like, God damn, that's tough. I can see. But that, they also though. treat their rookie quarterback like he's a fucking ten year veteran. Like, yeah. Well, you know, he just got here, and you guys aren't good. So yeah. maybe stop trying uh-huh. to do that. Yeah, I, I watched the uh, the Raiders. The Raiders are good, and I hate to say that, but the Raiders are good. They're a good team. They they fight. They they've actually found ways to win football games. Yeah. Now they almost found a way to lose the football game the other day, but they the when you find you find ways to win, you're a solid team in the yeah. NFL. Now we'll see second half because that's usually when they yeah. take a shit on themselves. And then the Packers, 37 seconds left on the clock, and he marches no them. Timeouts. No timeouts. Marches them down the field and kicks a reasonable field goal. Yeah. It wasn't like some 58-yarder. Yeah. That's still great of like, yeah, people say he doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. You guys are fucking, you're just looking for shit. Uh-huh. And that goes into that negative. You're just looking for negative shit to say. Yep. And yeah. every one of you saying the negative shit, would be if Aaron Rodgers said, "Hey, I want to come to this team." Oh, fucking love it! Yeah, yeah. fuck, come yeah, over here. Exactly. Fuck out of here. Yeah, assholes. Yeah, but I mean, and then the fucking Cowboys just the Eagles suck. The, yeah, they They're beat bad. the shit out of them. They did. That they did. didn't. Uh, Jalen Hurts check it down to a safety. Yep. Yeah. I mean that's something. Yeah, you know, you're running right your him. pass play out. You know, sometimes you do that out of your end zone, but you. Yeah. Your check down pass can't still be in the end zone. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you're a check down, like one, Jalen, don't throw it. Two, if you're the check down guy, you can't be in the end zone. No, that was the Dolphins. Or was it the Dolphins? It was the Dolphins. Checked it down Dude, to it. It wasn't even a check down. They threw a fucking screen to, a, and, to the guy and to in the safety. end zone. Yeah. <laughs> the he fuck? caught it in the fucking end zone. They were on the one. He mm-hmm. takes three yard, He takes three steps back and then Brissett sails it. He has to jump. To catch it, he should have just fucking let it go. There's one for you. Indy plays Miami this week. If Miami uh, gets him, yeah, that's not good with with hey, a backup quarterback. Because yeah. I I don't know about Tua. He's probably dead. He's still no. They put him on the IR for like oh, okay. three weeks or whatever. So gotcha. he won't be in. Yeah, Jacoby would be doing that. Yeah, that'd be bad. Yeah, Miami gets him real bad. Is that the quarterback you got rid of? Four yeah. wins. Yeah, four wins. Uh, if he comes, lights you up. That'd be great. Be great. Well, that's the other thing too with Indian- Indianapolis is like their defense is shit, mm-hmm. and that was like their that was a, that yeah, was their okay. strong suit. Yeah, like they were fucking Derrick Henry just sends Darius Leonard. Yeah, oh, just truck sticked his ass. Truck sticked. Yeah, you like that? Truck I stuck? love it. I don't know. Is stick a word? Stick's not a word. I don't know. <clears throat> truck not stuck a, his ass. A genius, I am not. <laughs> Although I play one on the radio. Nice. Nice. Oh, we're not on the radio. No. Nope. We're on the internet. <laughs> you want to do our picks? Let's pick some shit. Sweet. Let's pick. Let's pick. I you wish know. we had like a little like theme song right here. I can put one in. Wide side sports. Pickums. That's not a very good song, but. Wide side sports. If you don't like money, then fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> not bad. Not bad. We, yeah. play, we play with it. We play with it a little bit. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Let's, let's get that around a little bit. <laughs> All right. Do you want to go first? Or do you I don't go care. First? Give me a game, sir. I will give you 
the um, man. I was going to give you that one, but I think that's an easy pick. But I'll give it to you anyways. Cardinals at Rams. Cardinals uh, are getting four and a half. I mean, I got to go with the Rams. I mean, yeah, they're t- Jesus. The Rams at minus four and a half. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that because they look fucking awesome right now. They look cool as shit. All righty. Everybody's finding out about Matthew Stafford. Yeah. And this guy's actually a fucking player. fucking MVP right yeah. now. Oh, for sure. I'm going to give you this one just, just to be an asshole. Um, because the spread's so big. Uh, Texans Bills. I have the, uh, the Texans oh at my 15, God. 15 and a half. I'm going to have to go. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to take the Bills. Yeah, I, it's I don't even It's in blame Buffalo, you. and I, yeah. I don't know. That's a tough one. That's so, why is it? Fucking so, NFL, I that, man. I know that the Texans are bad, but Jesus. More than two touchdowns. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give you Raiders, Chargers. Raiders getting three. Raiders are the underdog. Nice. Um, well, it's, in, it's in LA. <coughs> you know, I'm going to take the Chargers. I think Chargers good squad. I think they are too. I'm going to take the Chargers at the minus three and a half. All righty. Let's see. Let's go to the game here. Let's go. Uh huh. Panthers at the Cowboys. The Panthers are plus four and a half. I'm going to ride with the Cowboys. Okay. At minus four and a half, just because fucking Dak's got something going. Yeah, he does. And, you know, the Panthers, we don't know yet. They're, yeah. They're in that same group of like, mm, yeah. Who have you played? Yeah. I'm going to give you the Detroit Lions at the Chicago Bears. Lions plus three. Let's go, Dan Campbell. Motor I'm going City Lions. Dan. I'm going Lions. At getting plus his first three, win. Getting his first win against the Bears. All righty. Let's go with the Washington football team against the Falcons. The Falcons are plus one and a half. I'm going to go with the football team okay. because this is a must win. Yeah. The what with what Dallas just did to Philadelphia, football team has, has to, to win, win this game. Has to win. I'm gonna give you Browns at Vikings. Yeah, I didn't like that one. Minus two. I don't. What the two gets me? Like two? Pick them. Uh, it is a pick. Well, it's not even actually. It's a, usually the home team in a pick them is a is a three. Yeah. You know what? I'm doing Do it. it. I'm doing it. Let's go Vikings. Let's go. Let's go Vikings. Nice. Skull. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Cool. Vikings. Awesome. Let's go Vikings. All right. Let's give you one here. Let's go with the Seahawks at the Niners. Seahawks are plus three. I'm going to go with the Niners because I think... Uh... I don't know. With the minus I don't know. three? Yeah, they're going minus three. I, I don't know what's with Seahawks, and I always just, you know, yeah. hope Russell Wilson <laughs> fails. Yeah. <laughs> like if he gets sacked and shits his pants. <laughs> like if Bosa comes up like, what the fuck? <laughs> there's shit everywhere. <laughs> All over the backfield. Oh, there's blood everywhere. All righty. All right, I'm going to give you... Shit, I just saw it. I'm, I'm going to give you that game we just talked about. Colts God Dolphins. damn it. I knew that was coming. The fact that you're uh, the Colts playing the Dolphins with a backup quarterback and you're getting a point and a half. Mm-hmm. The other one, it's going to be 187 fucking degrees because then Miami. Yeah. Colts don't go 0-4, do they? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't think so. If they do, it's going to be. I'm going the Colts. That, what, plus one and a half? Yeah, that, that's that's the direction I would go in, and I wouldn't like it no. as you as it felt like you didn't yeah. feel confident about <laughs> no, it. I don't at all. They fucking suck. 
But it's like, is Brissett, like, can Brissett get the Brissett? job? Uh, it's Brissett. It's not. It's Brissett. Don't Alrighty. disrespect Jacoby. Sorry. You ready? Fire. Bucks at the Patriots. The Patriots are getting plus seven. That's not enough. It's not. <laughs> Bustle, and I was saying that they'll fucking win by three. But Bucks at minus seven. I, I would if it was a ten, I would still take the Bucks. Okay, coming off a loss. Yeah. Oh, Tom Tommy Brady. coming back to yeah. Tommy fucking Foxborough. Yeah. Yeah, he's this is as much as the guy does the professional things well, and he's downplaying the game. He wants to beat the he's gonna fuck beat the shit out of Bill Belichick. Yeah, and just say yeah, I I won this divorce, buddy. I won this shit. All right, do I owe you one more? Nope, that's five that and it? five. Yep. Here's one that's weird. Just coming off this uh, the talk that we had. <laughs> yeah, is Kansas City's only a seven point favorite against the Eagles? Yeah, I know it. That is weird. Super weird. So some, the, yeah, I don't know. And then they lost to the Chargers, and Andy Reid had a heart attack. Is he going to pull an Urban Meyer? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think did he. Well, did they ever say what was wrong no, with him? They never, wrong. I mean, like he was the next released day, the next day. Yeah, yeah, he was out and he was at practice. Yeah. I mean, or yeah. back at the facility. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know it's what it was. Really put something into perspective when a guy in that kind of shape has issues. <laughs> <laughs> what would Tommy Bahama do without Andy Reid? I'll never forget that man. It was uh. Story time here. This guy, he used to be a golf pro. Mm-hmm. Actually owned a piece of a nine-hole golf course. Doing very well. Gotcha. You know, got in drugs, drinking. Uh-huh. Lost every, you know, divorced, yeah. bankrupt. Yeah. You know. And then for the next 40 years, was an alcoholic of epic proportions. Yeah. So the course I used to be at when I still worked inside we used to have pretty good skins game on the weekends. He'd mm-hmm. show up for that. It's like seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Like a movie would see him with a fifth of Jack Daniels in the parking lot. Oh. Taking chugs like you were just drinking water after running wind sprints. Oh, God. I mean, fall out of the cart. <laughs> yeah. All this stuff. I mean, just drugs, everything. Yeah. So this is probably seven, eight years ago. He, he dies. Okay. And his, you know, we know his sister and his brother-in-law. Okay. Very successful. Gotcha. Community people. It was like, hey, you know, sorry to hear that, you know, he passed away. And she, and she goes, yeah, it was really a shock. It's like, <laughs> that he fucking lived that long? I mean, what the fuck is the shock? Yeah. That he made it to 60? <laughs> I mean, this fucking guy. Yeah, he should have been dead I a mean, long time ago. Like the people, the alcoholics they portray in movies that you say are not true. Yeah. Was that guy. That guy did it all. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. That was that the, guy did it all. That's hilarious. That was, I was going to tell you one too. I was, uh, had to wait in my car the other day. Yeah. And when I say the other day, I mean yesterday. Yeah. And it was like, I had to kill like 20 minutes, okay. which is like the worst thing <laughs> yes. ever. So, you know, yes, it's it like is. flipping on YouTube. Uh huh. And obviously being a, fan of the mind hunter show because there's talks that they might make the third season uh-huh. so you you know a bunch of shit's coming up on youtube and it said you know the real killers of mind hunter ah, i'm watching that and it's it's just going through like season two yeah, who yeah. was who was in the show and that uh-huh. btk yeah obviously is a pretty big deal in both mm-hmm. seasons like you don't you don't know it but they just yeah. the clips and they showed a clip and obviously his whole testimony is on Line. I've mm-hmm. never watched it. Yes. Yeah. Why would you watch that? Well, it's something that it, I yes, would watch. Yes, but exactly. I just never have. Uh huh. So, but they play a clip of his confession in court. It. It is just. They asked him the question of how did you pick this whatever victim they were talking yeah. about, and he goes into a description like he's describing fucking dinner. He goes. Well, you know, I was driving my car and I seen this woman come out of the, uh, out of her house and I looked at her and said, 
yeah, she might be next. And then, you know, a couple of weeks went by and then I broke into her house and I grabbed her. I tied her up. And I mean, just talking like, like, yeah, what the <laughs> fuck is, I mean, it's just like, he's, you describe it. Yeah. This is, you know, this is my kitchen table. And yeah. This is my, <laughs> of like, yeah, yeah, this, this is wild. This is like, just like a normal conversation. Yeah. Just normal dude. conversation yeah. talking about murdering somebody. Yeah. I'm like, there's huh. some fucked up people out there. <laughs> I'm just like, it just like deadpanned. Uh huh. I mean, like, what the, the fuck? fuck? No emotion in his eyes, just there. That and, that, and then they listen to, like, in that, I'm sure they'll cover it if they make the show, but yeah. obviously I've listened to, I just listened to a book about uh-huh. that guy in the, the interview process with him of, like, you know, you were dormant for 30 years. And he's like, well, you know, I was doing this and this. And it's like, no, he wasn't. Yeah. That, that, you just don't know that. Yeah. There's no fucking way a guy like that didn't do something, something. for 30 yeah, goddamn exactly. years. But if you caught him on that, you can kill him uh-huh. with the death penalty, and he doesn't want that. Yeah. <laughs> don't fucked up people, fucking, man. But just Wild. like the whole, of like, that's just shit on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shit that Randy finds. Yeah. I didn't even find it. It just it suggested for me. <laughs> We know what the fucked up shit you look at. Here you go. It's weird, you know, if you flip on Instagram or whatever and they run those ads and all my ads are like for fucking duct tape and zip ties and knife sharpeners. <laughs> <laughs> knife sharpeners. <laughs> Gotta have a clean yeah, blade. That's that's what they suggest for for the old Rand dog. Uh, all right. I don't know what else we got going on. I have nothing, buddy. Yeah, I feel like I'm done too, man. All righty. You want to call it? Sure. Do it. Whiteside?